Now buddy, welcome back to the Caribbean. In today's video, it is finally time to lift the secrets of the shortest runway on this planet. Welcome to Saber. Yes, everybody. Welcome indeed to the tiny volcanic island of Saber in the Caribbean. You know, this is the third island that we're visiting in this interesting Caribbean vlog where I check out the three most iconic airports in the area. Of course, we started off with St. Martin getting blown away by planes on the beach. Then it was time to hop over to St. Bartholomew to check out the beautiful, luxurious island life. And now it's time for the last stop, the smallest island here on this list with the smallest airport in the world. I mean, the runway isn't even 400 meters long. It's surrounded by hills with high winds. Definitely not easy of an airport. <laughs> But of course, no problem for the beautiful Twin Otter plane by Wind Air now. This 15 minute flight from St. Martin costs around 300 bucks round trip. But yes, this 36 year old plane has brought us here safely. Now, we've come here for this video to check out this island, explore the most interesting spotting locations, check out the control tower, and of course, the island's only gas station. But before we talk any further, let's hop into one of the 10 taxis that are all on the island that'll bring us to one of the few hotels on the island. It's incredible. Is that the first time, man? Yeah, yeah, it's my first time. Don't worry about that. We don't, wear, you don't, we don't use them here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you, you're a native here? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, wow. Here. How old are you? 78. Wow. Yeah, we only have one road on Sarah. Yeah, the, the, what's it called? The road, right? The road. The road. <laughs> yes. You know, something you immediately start to notice coming to this island is how laid back these people are. You know, they're truly living the island life. I mean, this was my taxi driver, Petty Johnson. He told me all about the stories about, you know, how they built these roads, how they built this airport here on this tiny flat surface on this pretty much volcanic mountain that this island is. I mean, the only airport space that was available was the small flat land that they had to break free with dynamite. Absolutely incredible. Put a dynamite in and then blast the rock. That's... Wow. Well, and you really start to quickly notice further how small this island really is. I mean, there's only 2,000 people living on it, and it's pretty much eight times smaller than the GTA 5 map. And everyone kind of knows each other. It's basically a big village. For example, Patty told me that his son works at the air traffic control tower, who we're going to pay a visit later on. All right, welcome back to the, the Instagram feed of the Swiss Sister One. So I've just landed here on the Saba Island. Yes, there's a vlog coming soon. Anyway, we're on here in the hotel room, and I just want to give you a tour of a Saba hotel. And this is crazy. This wasn't too expensive, I think. Um, anyway, there is many rooms. Look, this is a whole apartment. I don't mind. Anyway, here we've got uh, the living room. We've got an Ikea couch. We've got, um, don't mind the, the rubble. Anyway, look, AC, okay, AC, good. Look. We've got a bit of a bar, a coffee bar, a Nespresso, mach a Nespresso mach machine. Better than equipment within my kitchen. And we've got the, the biggest mini bar that I've ever seen. And this is the killer. Literal water dispenser in the room. Look, I really do not mind. I really do not mind. Uh, let's go further. Okay, bedroom. Look, we've got the bed here with uh, camera on it, mosquito on it. And then we've got uh, Ikea schrank. Of course, the Ikea commoda cannot fail. We've got the fancy damn 
bathroom. You know, it. this one doesn't, like this is like gold. It doesn't fit with the other stuff, but this is amazingly equipped. I'll have a, I'll have a blessed time here. Have a blessed day, bye bye. Alright everybody, this is Swiss Disney One looking like a doctor here in this hotel room. You know, this island is absolutely incredible and just the approach yesterday, that was just crazy. Definitely one of the craziest airports ever and it's now time to go ahead and visit it. And for that one I had to wake up very early in the morning. See, there are only two times a plane comes in for Seba Day. It's early in the morning and late in the afternoon, so um, 7.20 a.m. is the, you know, first plane and 5 o'clock in the afternoon is the second plane, both wind air, and yes, only two operations pretty much a day. This is not really the busiest airport in the world, definitely not as busy as St. Bartholomew, which we visited in the last video. So already the sun has just risen, I called the taxi, it's time now to head to the airport. Well, here it is. Here's the airport that we've always dreamed of. You know, this is already a perfect spot, I think. We'll catch the first landing that's coming in probably 10 minutes. I'm guessing they're using this runway here. All right, there it is, I got it, I got it. Oh, it's actually, that is so interesting. It is a crappy Islander. Wow, I wouldn't have thought this plane actually flies there. <laughs> Check out all that braking. No, oh yeah, it's now finally the Twin Otter's turn. You know, this landing I posted on my TikTok account and lots of people pointed out how late it was. Yes, indeed, a bit of an abnormally late landing. That is no problem though for the insane stopping performance of the Twin Otter. Well, after a quick refill, of course, and passengers, yeah, this airport does not have a fuel station. It's time again for a takeoff. Here's our little friend, the Twin Otter, probably pretty much fully loaded, I would guess. Okay, now making sure to use every single inch of that runway. Incredible. Here we go, full power. All right, it's doing a static takeoff, so it's putting full power in the engines while putting the brakes on and then releasing the brakes once the engines have reached full power, which they have. Look at that. It is loud. All right, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh wow, it uses all of that little runway here, the little stupid DHC-6 Twin Otter. And now the ridiculous part is that this is about pretty much 50% of the daily operations here at Sabah. There's not really much more going on here throughout the day. I mean, there's so many people being employed here at this airport for only two planes a day. I think that is that is just incredible. All right, everybody, now back in the hotel. And well, what can I say? That was just absolutely crazy. But now, everybody, it is time to sit down, relax, wind down, and wait for the late afternoon arrivals of planes. Because, well, there's, again, there's only pretty much two flights here. And well, now it's time for some breakfast and time to get a car. I really want a rental car here. That's, that's The roads are crazy. Alright everybody, good afternoon here from Sabah. I'm still here at the hotel. You know, over the day I've picked up the car here. This is a Nissan. You know what's interesting about the Sabah Island is that they don't require front licensing plates, right? It's kind of like, kind of like California. Check this out. California everybody. Well everybody, it's now time to hit the airport for the afternoon arrival of a Win Air Twin Otter. Now for this little trip I bought some new Nike shoes that you know aren't white because we're going to hike a little bit to find our next spotting point. Of course we're gonna catch the planes from all certain angles. And well something I found just incredible about this island are the prices of things you have to import. Like those Nike shoes, $150 for these, for these pretty basic shoes you would pay 50 bucks for in Europe. And that really shows, yes, living on this tiny island can be a bit impractical, import-wise. But everybody, let's drive off now through paradise to the airport. All right, everybody, I think I found the spot for spotting everybody on this hill. 
very much in the wilderness. Yeah, I do hope that there are no snakes here that are venomous or anything. But look at this rock right here. I remember this from the flight simulator. I remember crashing into it once. Oh yeah, good times. And now we're here in real life. Jesus Christ. It's coming. Jesus. It doesn't care at all. Why is this plane like it is? That is just, it's just amazing. You know, with this kind of wind going on, it's not easy to make videos. Okay. They've just restarted the engines. Time for takeoff. All right, backtrack. Down the runway once again, a nice takeoff. Look at that wind sock. <laughs> Yeah, it is a bit windy. Wow. Incredible. That was the fastest take I've ever seen on the Twin Otter. Yeah, just the headwind we had really made an advantage. Wow. And well, you know, the thing is that that's just it for today. Two planes. Now it's time to go back. Try not to die. Now good morning everybody. Today it's time for spotting day number two. Now waking up I noticed that the weather is a bit, let's call it windy. Yeah the weather isn't all too great today. Look there's a, can you see that fire engine on the runway? That's interesting as well. All right, come on, let's do it. Now the fact that we're literally facing the worst weather of the week does not stop those planes from coming here. <laughs> We've got the Islander. <laughs> Incredible. That's back. Everybody, the BN2 Islander. Amazing. Of course, we're still waiting for the Win Air Twin Otters. Let's go ahead and catch that properly. So windy. Always, oh, almost getting blown away. going on it should be interesting also to see the takeoff how much runway will this twin otter use now Now for the rest of the day, I thought, why not check out what else this island has to offer? I mean, for example, let's go ahead and check out the town of Windward Side, one of the biggest towns on the island. <laughs> I lost Sarah. And yes, this mountain you see right here in the background is called Mount Scenery. It is 887 meters high. And while St. Seba is part of the Netherlands, it is literally the highest point of the Netherlands, the highest mountain. And yes, also the people here, of course, have a Dutch passport. I think that's a fun fact. Anyway, let's go ahead and visit another town called The Bottom. Here you can find the police station. Also, I bought my shoes here in the only clothing store on the island. Oh, and here's also the only beach on the island as well. And well, what else this island is famous for among tourists is diving. Yes, it has a big diving center. I also did some diving and let me tell you, it is totally amazing. But everybody, now it's time to skip to day number three, where today I'll be checking out the tower of the airport. <laughs> Alright, everybody, today's my last day on the island. 
Let's go ahead and visit the airport. It's very early in the morning. You know, it's right past six and we want to catch the first plane. The thing is, yesterday after I went spotting in the afternoon, I kind of coincidentally met one of the people who works in the control tower. And well, guess what? I arranged a little bit of a meeting. They're letting me on to the control tower this morning. So let's go ahead and do it. Alright, thank you very much. Amazing. Thank you. Knock knock. Okay, what's the winds like? It's not that bad, is it? It's perfect. It's perfect weather. Yes, let me introduce you to Stanford Johnson. Probably the coolest air traffic controller of all times. Roger that. And I could watch out in the area. Winds are 130 degrees, 14 knots. QNH 290, that's my 901. I don't know, bone five minutes. He's been working up there in the tower for 23 years, and he also owns a little bar down in the airport building. You guys have to visit that one if you ever visit Seba. You want to get set up on the roof? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, let's do it. All right, thank you, man. All right, see you. to the roof of the airport building here. How you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, waiting for the plane, you know? Good. All right, being to Islander. Yeah, my camera lens was a bit dirty, but anyway. All right, easy landing. Time for the Twin Otter. That is almost a glitch in the matrix. That's so slow. Still all agree on the fact that this islander is absolutely goofy of a plane, isn't it? Good takeout though. <laughs> Now, meanwhile, wasn't that amazing a view right from the tower? Again, thank you so much to Stanford who made all this possible. But everybody, whoa, it is my last day here. You know, this stopped spotting. I gotta bring this car back. The Nissan rental car. And it's time to fuel it up. You know, I gotta bring it back to the place with half the tank. So it is time to go to the island's only fuel station down at the harbor. So let's, uh, let's do this. This is crazy. <laughs> let's do it. I, I, have, I have zero idea how much this thing fits. Uh, let's do uh, 10 liters. Price per liter? Well, that ain't half bad. That's not bad at all. And well, that marks the end of my last day here on the beautiful island of Seba. So let's go ahead and jump to the next morning, where of course, we have an interesting item waiting on our list. And that is of course, taking off out of the airport on a beautiful twin otter. Let's check this out. Now, as usual, these Seba flights seem to always be very packed, probably due to the fact that there's only two flights a day. So, yeah. back on our way to St. Martin, the Big Island. Oh, 
All right, everybody. We're back in St. Martin now. About to take that Air France flight home, you know? I mean, what can I say? This trip has been phenomenal. You know, these three videos. Like, again, it's so interesting. These islands are so different, but so close to each other. And by the way, there's one plane taking off right now. Look at that. But yeah, all I can say is that, man, I recommend traveling to these islands. It's absolutely gorgeous. Not only the airport, of course. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and making all of this possible. Of course, flying here is not cheap at all. And so thank you guys so much for supporting and watching. Uh, and well, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. As always, good night.